Hello, thank you very much for joining me. Welcome back to my channel. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and watch the whole video through. Don't be lazy, because I get the retention rate and stuff, and it helps me tremendously. Um, be really kind if you do. Anyway, um, Medina, um, Argentine 24-year-old, central defender, playing for Lons. Uh, Lons last season, if you don't know, had um, their one of their best ever seasons. They came within one point of winning the league Uns title, uh, of course, pesky PSG nipped them there and got the claim there. I don't know ninth title in about fucking eleven years or something like that. Great season for them. Obviously, a lot of stuff was around um, Luis Opinda, um, who uh, who moved on. Um, but actually, as well as him, there were other players who um, held the team up, and arguably, apparently, more so. And this isn't my words, this is Robin Berenez's words, my boss, who's a Ligon fanatic. And he says that um, Medina was if more than important, arguably, than him. Um, one of the best uh, central defenders in Ligon the last 18 months. I think he means this season so far and last. But we are in November now, so that would make sense. I keep thinking, oh yeah, the season's just started. But we are kind of getting to the halfway point, I suppose. So, um, fantastic player. Ball playing, very modern centre back. You know, plays in a variety of positions as well as on the left back role. Uh, left footed. Um, he has great technical ability as well. Arguably the same as a, an actual midfielder. Um, he can actually play central midfielder. It hasn't happened, but you know he's so good with a ball he can play up there. He's a bit one dimensional in terms of his. You know, he can only play on his left. Um, and apparently. Excuse me, um, his aerial duels, he, his winning headers is, leaves a lot to be desired. Um, he's a little bit like, I suppose, Lutaro Martinez, and he has that aggression as well. I mean, Argentine as well, isn't he? So, and same age, maybe. Maybe Medina's a little bit younger. So, the information I got, and we did a story on it on Friday, was that he will be leaving Lons next year, and they want to sell to Riku some, some Wonga for their season. The asking price, I heard, was about 25 million euros. I suspect it'll be a bit more than that. Um, we know that there have been meetings uh, between Medina, his camp, and other clubs. Unfortunately, at the moment, I haven't been able to attach a name to that. But having said that, it's quite premature at the moment. And even attaching a name to it at this point would kind of not really be give a fair interpretation of where things are at. Because meetings between uh agents intermediaries and the clubs and the players obviously it's quite regular it's quite common it's not like a huge indication of like oh they're going to bid for him it's you know there could be 10 20 20 is probably a bit excessive but you know, there could be a, a series of clubs who've had meetings and stuff and just trying to find out a bit about the player it's quite common so i haven't got a name to that that he has been previously linked to man united um and also brighton as well um I haven't heard anything in that regard. The last thing I heard about Man United is that the centre-back, you know, the idea of getting Antonio Silva in January and stuff was just complete nonsense. But I'm not really saying much at the moment because so many things are liable to change, you know, with the ownership and that. So, you know, if that twists and, oh, Ratcliffe gets in and he's able to put money in, then, then things can change entirely. So, again, it's not giving a fair... Um, accurate report when things are so liable to change up until that point anyway so and but he's been there uh, they've been linked and brighton have been linked as well again i just haven't got names there yet so we'll, we'll wait and see uh, i'm just going to touch on something a bit sensitive um so apparently um the medina has um a series of allegations around him um which have been reported i think quite widely in the argentine media it's not something I'm going to go into. It's there to look into yourselves if you want. Um, it's not something I... I in terms of this channel, I, I try and cut it purely to transfers and being quite jovial and stuff. But it's there um, just from my perspective and a purely transverse perspective. It does raise the question of perhaps why uh, Lons want to sell um, next year and why the price is so low. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm not saying that is... Um, a fact i'm not saying but it's just like a thought that i've had possibly that could be the reason um but what i will say as well is you know clubs perhaps who are linked to him who 
have extensive due diligence around players. And I'm not digging clubs out. I'm just saying, you know, Liverpool, you know, that ain't going to happen with Liverpool. They famously, they dropped... Apparently, the Anthony, you know, they you know he would they they were linked to Anthony um, before he went to Man United the same summer, and apparently because of the allegations that were behind him in Brazil, that was the reason. But that's not something I've heard. It's not something I'm gonna I haven't verified and gonna report on, right? Do you know what I mean? So I'm just telling you as like a mate or whatever. Like apparently, um, so what I'm trying to get at is clubs who are very like stringent with character assessments. Newcastle is another, I believe, you know, uh, Liverpool. Um, who's bad for it is like Everton, probably a Man United. That's, you know, um, so that, you know, so basically I'm saying if you see links with Newcastle, Liverpool and this player, I don't, I can't see it really. So, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I'll bring the latest around him and um, just keep an eye out, you know, if you're interested. Um, Lons aren't doing it as well, well this season. Um so, you know, they're playing. I'm just talking shit now. They watch them on BT Sport, watch them play. I don't know. Um, watch them scouting videos and stuff and YouTube because people mock YouTube for like, oh, you just got his information off YouTube. It's like, yeah, you can get a good flavor of how someone is. Anyway, really, I'm waffling now. Give us a like, follow, and subscribe, and all that. Love.